Hello again. Welcome back. We have completed this much so far. Um, last time we did a lot of the art gallery um, is what we completed um, with with art because that's when that's what's in a gallery you know and the stairs on the outside but uh, yeah I think that's all we really did last time is just that area a lot of little pieces to create these these pieces of art um, but uh, yeah let's continue let's continue on with bag five start with some entrance window columns and you'll see what I mean in just a second we need two of these and two of these blue got to be in here one by two bricks with the hole in them and Two one by two jumper plates and two blue buttons. And we put this on this. We'll do the same with this. Put this button in here. Fill in that hole. Do the same with this. And put these right on top. And then throw that over there. That's, that was my plan. And I'm going to turn this so that the uh, art gallery is facing you because that's where these go. Right in these spots. Now, I did say that I was going to lift the camera a little higher for this video next time, but I forgot. So should we do that let's see if we can do that and if it will help because i know the higher i go the less you can see the pieces um, that i pull out which should be okay but now hmm that's a little too high all right maybe maybe throw a couple of dvd cases under there let's do two two is a couple right and that looks good yeah that looks pretty good okay make sure we get everything set here and it looks okay. It's a little bit higher. And not by much, but I think you could see a little bit better. Get rid of that. Put it over there. Yeah. Well, I started off with those two. Now let's make the door, which will require one of these, one of the door frames. A one by four plate and the door, the glass door. Let me just put this glass door in here, like so. This has been a little bit banged up by the other bricks, so it's not really clear. It's got scratches on it. Sometimes that happens, and it might be my fault for dumping them out and putting them back in the box so many times. And then we need to make a door handle right there, and it goes in a downward 
position. And this just goes right on top. Now let's just slide that right in here behind our little artist here. I'm going to set her inside now. Yeah, let me, let me tilt her face. I see I'm already setting it up like it's all finished being built. Okay, we'll leave that. And now you can see her peeking out. I think. Where is she? It's so hard to see on that small screen, but you could probably see her in there. Open the door and she says, hey, we're open. Come on in. Look at my expensive stuff. Now, we need this long uh, two by eight, two by eight plate. And we're gonna need four of these. One, two, three, four. And we're just gonna put them on like this. All along here. Two. Three, four, and that is going to go right on top here, right like that. Yeah, there we go. A little cover from the rain or depending on, depending on where this hotel is, maybe the sunshine, some shade. Two of these. I need to set these back more. I keep forgetting that the camera's up just a little bit higher than normal. Four of these. Three and four. One of these. Four of these. Four. All right, so we have this gap back here that we need to fill in that doesn't match up with the rest. So let's do that. Let's start there with the one by six, and that just completes it right away. Now we're right up to the wall, and then so we go with a one by four, and these. I need two of these, but the buttons are going to be facing inward. So turn that around. One, two, they're not on the outside. And then another one by four. You can see the buttons on this side. Let's continue from right here. We need that one by four. Hey, one by six. Go back to the one by four. Two more of these with the buttons. And remember, they go inward into the building. My guess is they're going to hang some fancy pictures from them or something. Or maybe some light fixtures. And then we finish this off with the last piece. So we got the buttons inward. And here we're going to go to this. Let's see, good way to show you, probably like that. Just, just because that's probably the best view for what we're about to do. I need two of, well, I need one of those. And two of those. Three, these are all the tiles. One, two, three. So, you know, when you see a lot of tiles that are going to go here, that usually means you've, you're completing the first level and you're going to start working on the second level. Because remember, these come apart level by level. And two of these. And these are one by six uh, plates. So let's start... Back, back, uh, let's start right here. 
we're going to start off with a single one by one tile next to it is one by four another one by four we're going to continue along the wall like that one by six and we're going to start going this way so actually I'll start back here so you can see <coughs> this is what we'll need all right there and then this one which should complete it all the way to the end but then we're left with two of these now these two just fill in these spots right here one there and one there straightening out so now we have that spot all done which means we're probably gonna go along here no no nope, nope, not yet we're gonna create a disco floor it looks like a disco floor but it's not probably it's a probably another art piece but this time we're gonna hang it in the lobby we're gonna need one of these a four by four two by four one by four I believe those are different colors is there one by four that mm. yes put those back I need two of these. Okay. One of those. So I need one. Oh, this is gonna be there's all kinds of colors here. They're really testing me. And these are all gonna be one by one tiles. Oh man. Let's start off with the obvious colors. We got an orange for uh, these hmm. one two three now they still look a little different hang on I gotta determine my colors here I think these two are the same color and these two are the same color Yeah, I think that's right. Man, this is hard. This is really hard. For me, not for you. Okay, now if I'm correct, these are pink. And these are... These are blue. And I believe they're... they're I believe I have the colors together and I need so it's easier to see on the magazine for some reason they're, they're a little bit brighter but there's four of those three of these I need one yellow and four green one okay two three Four, and then three br browns it might be that that's another green remember I brought one out earlier that looked the same I think I think that's a dark green I'm pretty sure pretty sure this is where you get to see me fail yeah that's a different color it's a darker green i think there's only those i don't think there's any browns 
brown tiles that match that, so I, I think I'm good. Now this one, uh, okay, one, and then one of these. Sorry to take so long. We've talked about this before. Uh, I am um, blind. I'm, I'm colorblind. Where's the piece that I'm looking for? There it is, right there. And so, okay, now here we go again. Now this is difficult. So I'll start with the easy ones that I know. So I'm going to start with the green here. Next should be a dark green. You might comment that these are totally not the colors that I'm calling out. That's fine. I've been told so many years that I, I've, I've spouted off the wrong colors so many throughout, throughout my whole life. And people go, no, that, what are you talking about? That's, that's not right. That's not even close to the color that you think it is. So let me know if I uh, call them out wrong. I think another light green, I think that's a yellow. This is light green. And now I need yellow. Is that yellow? Could be green. Could be green. No, it looks yellow. I think it's yellow. And like that. And like that. Okay. That looks good. Okay, so now I do know the orange goes here. Orange is pretty, pretty easy for me. Especially that orange. That is a neon orange. Um, it stands out. Now here, I'm going to have difficulty. These colors look exactly the same. So I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. This right here. Okay. And the right, right at the top... This line and the ones around the orange, the ones that I have not completed on this piece, they all look exactly the same to me. And even on a camera, even looking through a camera and, and whatnot. Um, so I'm just going to put them on. Um, I'm just going to put them on. I'm going to guess, because I can see them a little bit better here, a little bit. Oh, I messed up with, I think that one's different. And, and what I'm guessing is they're going to go opposite of each other. So if I'm going to start here and like that, then I'm going to assume that one of these colors would go there, but it's orange this time. So I'm going to go back to this color. I really enjoy these pieces that they did. There's not marks on the side. It's right on the bottom. Just can't see them. I just can't see the color. You know how the tiles usually have that little mark where they break it off after they form it? Well, it's not on these. These must be a new design where they have the mark underneath, which I really enjoy. I can see a mark. Now, I left off with this one, so I'm assuming we're going to go to this one. I don't even need to look at that anymore. I'm just going to start plugging away. So if I just did this one, then up here is going to be this one. Then back to this one. Then this one. And then this one to finish it off. Now it's easier for me to see, oh, they're, since they're right next to each other, I can see um, 
a slight difference, but more so than what's printed on here. Anyways, let's get, let's get past that. Okay, I'm colorblind, whatever. This painting is by the artist whose studio is in the loft of the 10243 Parisian restaurant set. I don't have that set, but apparently this is hanging in there too. All right, so let's bring back this after wasting lots of time trying to determine colors. I think I almost got a headache from like, like having my eyes work at that. So they really were testing me there. Um, this is gonna go right here. It's just gonna hang with the darker colors below and these colors above, just like that. And then uh, this piece uh, is gonna go on the stairs right here. Like that. And then that like that, and this one right behind that one. Uh, not that far back, just right next to it. And then this one right behind that. Right. Now, I'm going to need five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And five of these. Okay, remember these with the little handle and then not quite a hole for for a um, what are they called not quite a big enough hole for one of these what are they called uh, my mind's gone right now I'll think of it part way but I need five of those one two three four five of those, two of these, uh, two by three plates, and six one by two plates, three, four, five, six. Ooh, we got some cool gold pieces this time. I can tell they look, they look gold. And so we just place these. So that little hole that I was talking about goes right on top of these little pegs sticking up. And I'm going to, so it's going to look like that. And I'm going to bring it back further because I know the camera's a bit high. So one, two... And three. Did I do this one right? I did not. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm just being my OCD self, trying to hide the little blemishes. And they're going to go right here. And they're going to go just like this. So there's one. Can you see that? I'm going to turn it a little bit. So I'll start at the top right after this one. We go right here. Right here. We're going to make a railing, I see. Right here. And right here. And then this last one, right there. Right up the stairs like that. Now these are going to make, I should have put these on first. So these are going to cover the steps. Um, possibly carpeted stairs. Just, just by the way they look. Or not. Maybe they're not carpeted. And 
this one goes right at the top, like that. Now right behind this one, we just put these two. Hopefully you can see. One and two. Hmm, okay. Slide that over just momentarily. We're going to need two of these. One Indiana Jones whip. A whip there. Whoopa. Three of these. I have no idea what these are called. I've used them in a few sets. They just kind of go on top of each other. One of these. I want to need another one of those. And one of, what is that? Oh yeah, one of these right here. So we put this on top of one of these and then put the other one on top of that. And we put, we clip this little handle here into that clip like that, then we just stack these three here. One, two, well, let's do it the right way. Three, and we put that in like that. And then this whip needs to go to the side like this. It's a butterfly tongue. Okay, let's put this on here, and just push it down, like that. And this, the center, no, the center of the whip doesn't go any, how does that work? Is that supposed to go in there? No. No, we just leave it like that. That's what it's supposed to do. It doesn't really connect. It's probably really dark. Probably not. Probably just dark on my camera. But that's how it goes. Nothing to clip in. Just kind of push it down. Now, let's gather one of these. Actually, we need four of those. One, two, three, four. And four of these, one, two, three, four of those. And one clock. Look, it's a clock. Oh, that just goes right here. Make sure 12 is up. That just goes right there on those buttons. Hanging down just like that, so people know the time. And these, so I'm just making four of these, just four of those. A one, a two, a three, a four. And you see these spots? Nope, you can't. Let's pull this back. These spots right here is where those are going to go behind I'll show you there we go and make sure the brick look inside is facing out remember one side looks like brick one side is just a line and this is what we did with those bricks is we just use the back side so they're just all lines but face these out like this that one's not on there all the way. Just, just like that. Yeah. All right. Now we need three windows. Window. Window. 
well, they're door frames, but they're going to be quite large, large windows for this hotel. So we'll need the window pieces, one, uh, two, and three. So let's just pop them into place. I can't really mess this up. Because there's really no other way. If you flip it, it's still the same thing. Put them in one, two, three. I have windows like this in my house, except they're a little bit higher. They are not so fun to wash because you need a squeegee that extends higher than a giraffe to get up high. So every two years I have to get up really, really high. Uh, now we just create the door. We're going to get another one of those frames, but this time we're going to use that glass door, the same door we did for the art gallery. And a handle. For a handle, we're going to use a little, little mini pew pew. A pew pew pew. Little gun. Little. I've seen them with um, minifigures, especially in the. Star Wars kits, or the Star Wars minifigures are using these as their laser guns. But we're using it as a door handle today. And it's going to look like that. And where does the door go? Well, at the entrance, silly. Why did you ask such weird questions? Ta-da! Yeah. Yep. That, 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 need eight of these, seven, and eight. We're working along here. This will be nice to nice and easy to see. So starting at this side, we're gonna skip one button and start with a one by two. Then we're gonna do two of these one by ones with the button facing outward. One by four. Two more. Two more of those. One by four, two more of those, one by two, and coming over here to this door, we need one by two, two of these, and the last one by two. And this is, goes on top of this with okay, let me straighten it out here. So it looks like that. And it goes here, but this piece that's sticking out goes on the inside. So just like that. Just like that. One of these. There it is. And eight. Here's where the gold comes in. The only reason I can tell gold and silver pieces, well, I can still see them, 
but they always add that little sparkle next to the piece, meaning it's going to be a shiny piece. Six, seven, eight. Ooh, pretty. So right next to this one just goes this piece. Okay. Ah, I see where this is going to go. So I'll just put the middle one in here right now and then just do the rest exactly like it. One on this side and one on this side. Just like that. Here we go. Okay. And like that. In there. And then right here at the entrance. You know, I should watch other people build Legos online and see if they actually just name every piece as they bring it out or if they just try to carry on a conversation because I'd rather carry on a conversation but for some reason in my mind I feel like maybe you want to know the piece just in case I don't know you lost the instructions and and you want to follow along um, I don't know I just feel like you want to know the pieces but Maybe I'll do that one day. I don't really enjoy watching other people's videos because I want mine to be unique and I don't want to get any ideas and take from other people's stuff. So I'm thinking out loud again. I'm going to need 12 of these. And since I need 12 of them, it looks like they're all right here. And so I'm not going to pull those out. 12 of those, 20 of these, and also that looks like they're all right here. I'm going to do one of those, one of these, and one of these. And so what we're doing is we're building, I'm going to start taking these pieces like this so okay that this is facing me so i'll start let me move this so i can show you okay we're gonna do that and put one on here and one of these on top and another one of the same one on top of that one and then another one of these that right there and two more on top like that and finish it off with one more of these so you can see what we're building here I need four of those so it should be pretty simple As long as I keep them facing the red the right direction should be good and there is well that's your example piece there's two matter of fact I could just do a couple of these Couple of those, couple of these. I'm starting to get hot. The weather is changing here. All this rain, finally a little bit of heat. It's reached probably 60 degrees today. Whew! Getting toasty now. Yeah. All right. So maybe maybe two of these come apart, but. Uh, one. Those are my display pieces. So, one. Like that. Like that. Like that. 
come on turn piece like that two like that like that voila and I need and what I forgot is one oops not that one more of those so here's an extra piece I bet we're gonna use it later usually you don't find extras of those so what do they say we need 28 of these one two three four five you see I already messed up here put it the wrong way flip that around 5 10 15 20 3 6 9 12 yep there this is a piece put it back we don't need any more and so now we can bring the hotel back and these are gonna sit right in front of these columns that we built just like this starting here a one a two a three a four and so these go I guess this goes right like I do this right right like this boop boop and it goes right here like this and I'll show you just like that now we're gonna go around we're gonna go around this wall here so I'm gonna turn this to you and we'll start we'll start near the garbage can here and continue on now it is a little bit higher than this so I wonder if this is gonna be a separate piece that I can take off rather than being a part of the same level to take off um, we'll see we'll see we'll see we need five of these the one by six I think I'll make it an, a point for my next build to not really call out the pieces like I'm doing um, maybe more story time we'll see we'll see we'll see and a one by three I need two more of these with the buttons on the front the one by one this one little guy right there oh there's that piece we need to bring that back in is that it no and we need one two three four which completes the big pieces of so four um two by or not two by one by fours okay so i said we'd start at the garbage can so that means we start with the one by three here one by six another one by six one by six one by six one by four one by four all the way to the end i'm gonna flip past the garbage can right here i'm gonna scoot in a little bit more so you can see so we're gonna still start from the garbage can side right here and we're going to go along here and this piece goes first makes sense the whole whole column down this way is of those pieces and we're going to use these two button pieces here buttons go inside the hotel Ooh they actually go towards the stairs so um i don't need those yet actually if i think go toward the stairs we're still working over here so let's do a one by four another one by four 
and then one by six now we're here back to these and the buttons go out out to the stairs finish it off with that piece and there we are is that it for today seemed rather short that's it for today I mean all we really did is we created some windows some columns we put uh, these gold fancy I don't know what they would be gold pieces there and we just built up a little bit more of the wall uh, I believe we did add this we added that funky little uh, colorful art piece I think I referred to it before I start building as a disco floor light floor but it's just an art piece hanging on the wall we added a clock and that's it really we just kind of built we built we built we're done for today we'll be back later so these are extra pieces uh this is what, what do i need to say there's nothing else to say except uh hey thanks for watching uh we'll see you next time later gator